Hello there, I'm Luca Ricci and I'm a musician. In today's lesson, I will explain you the measure and the basics of solfeggio. What is a measure? The measure is the portion of the stave in between of two vertical lines that delimit it. The measure represents a point of reference for the eye, making the reading of the score easier and grouping the notes according to the beat, which consists in a symbol or a fraction. The lines that delimit the measure can be of three types. Simple bar, who divides measure inside the musical discourse, double bar, which separates two distinct parts of the musical discourse, ending bar, which denotes the conclusion of the musical discourse. Before jumping to solfeggio, we need to talk first about the rhythmic organization inside the measure. As stated earlier, the organization of the notes in the measure strictly depends on the fraction at the beginning of the score, which we will call the beat. The number on top represents the number of pulses in every measure, while the number below represents the rhythmic value of the pulse. Let's take as an example a binary time of two fourths. The two represents how many pulses there are, while the four represents the rhythmic value, which in this case are one fourth notes. Some examples of both binary and ternary beats will be shown. Explain that we can go to the solfeggio part. What's solfeggio? Solfeggio is a practice that consists in reading in high voice with a correct time value a piece of sheet music. To do it, we must put together all the previous lessons to correctly read a piece. Let's take a simple exercise that I wrote as an example. First, we establish the clef we are using, that in this case is a treble clef. Then, we establish the beat, that in this case is a three fourths. Now, taking a slow tempo, we can try to read music following the correct rhythmic values. Re, la, re, fa, mi, la, do, mi, sol, fa, si, la, si, sol, la, fa, sol, fa, sol, mi, fa, re, mi, do, la, do, sol, fa, fa, mi, si, la, si, sol, la, fa, sol, fa, sol, mi, fa, re, mi, do, la, do, fa, mi, re. That uh, makes it for now. In the next lesson, we will start talking about the basics of key and harmony. See ya!